Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over a topic that I didn't completely cover in my other Schlieren video, and this is about where to put the knife edge and how to know that it's at the focus and it's not too far forward or too far backwards of the focus. I have my system set up the way that I normally do where I have my camera, the knife edge, and then the light source, and then the mirrors up over there. This is what it looks like without the knife edge in there. You can see that I have a nice uniform illumination over the entire mirror surface. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we move the knife edge in from this direction forward of the focus, behind the focus, and then when we're at the focus. So when I say forward, it's when I'm up here, backwards is behind the focus, and at the focus is right here at the point source. So we're back looking at what the image looks like with no knife edge in, it's uniform illumination. Now I'm gonna move the knife edge in and I'm well forward of the focus point. And as you can see, it gets dark from the left-hand side because we're cutting off the, that side of the light. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just moving the knife edge in, now it's totally blocking the beam. I'm moving it back out again, and now it's completely unblocked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the knife edge back behind the focus point, closer towards the camera lens, and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm coming in from the same side, but watch what happens. I'm moving it in, and now you can see it's coming in from the right-hand side. I'm still moving the knife edge in the way that I showed before, but now it's getting darker from the right-hand side. This is me moving it in from in front of the focus point again, and then this is from behind the focus point. So how can we tell if we're at the focus then? If we're in front of the focus, we have the dark spot coming in from the left-hand side. If we're behind the focus, we have it coming in from the right-hand side. And so what you'll see if we're at the focus, if we start inserting the knife edge at the focus, is a uniform decrease in intensity over the entire mirror. So I'm gonna try that now. I'm sitting behind the camera, and here you can see it's sort of, it's a little bit darker on the right-hand side, so I might just move this up a little bit. And you can see now that if I put the knife edge in, it'll start to uniformly decrease the intensity, something like that, and then I can black it all out, open it wide up, wide open again. And so there's a point where you can find that the knife edge is sitting right at the focus point and you get the uniform decrease in intensity over the entire uh, mirror surface. Now, of course, you could also eyeball this from the front, like I was showing before, and you can put your knife edge fully in and see the image of the point source on the knife edge, and once you see a crisp image of your point source on the knife edge, then you'll be right at the focus. But I actually think that it's a better idea to do it from the camera point of view here, where you're looking at the image and you can see where you get the uniform decrease in intensity, because that'll tell you that you are right at the focus point. And what I've done here is I've just left the knife edge in place where it was from the previous shot, and I've just lit the candle that's right in front of the mirror. Now here the candle is actually still lit, but I've taken the knife edge completely out. So let's see what happens when I put the knife edge in from in front of the focus point. So I'm going to start moving it in. And there you can see the flame, but you can see that the darkness is coming in from the left-hand side, and then it completely blacks it out. Now let's see what happens when we're behind the focus point. We do the same thing. I'm coming in, I'm still coming in, and there on the left-hand side you can see the flame, but then you can also see that the intensity decreases from the right-hand side coming in. And so again, when we're at the focus, we should get this uniform decrease in intensity, and you'll start seeing the flame uh, really nicely once we're right at the focus. And so I need to just kind of do this while I'm watching the camera. And so you get something nice like that when you're right at the focus. So hopefully that kind of shows you how you can uh, put the knife edge in at the right location to get the nicest images from your Schlieren setup. Thanks for watching.